How did you become involved with Winner's Tale? I got a call that uh, Akiva Goldsman, the director who would be directing, uh, um, to set up a meeting. Uh, and so we went to the Wilshire Hotel in, in uh, Beverly Hills, and we had, he had coffee, I believe. I had hot cocoa. Uh, I don't drink coffee. And we just talked. Uh, not too much about the film, but just talked. And uh, I had such a good feeling about him, his sensitivity. And, and, but we did talk about the film and uh, just thought, well, this, you know, this could be exciting. And then I read the script, and it all worked out. Mm -hmm. Can you, how do you think that she's over 100 years old? What kept her so vital for so long? Do well, do you know, today I was reading, there are many people 100 and over. And people are living longer. When you think of the 1900s, I think the average age was 45 or something like that. But people are living older, and you keep busy. Mm -hmm. As my mother would say, just keep moving, honey. <laughs> she said that. To, I had a sister moving, just keep moving. And she did. She lived to be out about 92. I'm 90, will be 90 soon. And so I have a miracle, kind of a fantasy, kind of a fairy tale. It's such a beautiful story. It's a love story. Be not be well, between the young girl, <laughs> not Colin, although she adores Colin from the time she was little. So speaking of Colin, you have a very, there, you spoke of a very pivotal scene in the film with him uh, mm -hmm. later on, and how was it working with Colin? With Co Colin Farrell? Mm -hmm. Colin Farrell. Well, let me ask you, how do you think it was? <laughs> 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 no, he's such a good actor, and he gives so much. And, and off screen, I mean, once, I mean, he's so dear. And my husband loves him too. <laughs> Did I say love? <laughs> I don't know him that well. But I admire him and I think he, he's going to have a wonderful career. He's a hardworking actor. You see what he does in this film. And, and, and the love scene that uh, Akiva Goldsman, the director, I think that is one of the most beautiful love scenes I have ever seen. It is so, it's just so beautiful. It's tr it's true love, and they come from two different worlds, but it's kind of a miracle that they meet, and 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 oh, you just see that. And he, I just loved how they did that love scene. Mm -hmm. I loved how they did the love scene. That's really great. Uh, now there's a few themes to this film. There's good versus evil, everlasting love, loss and hope. What do you think is going to resonate with the audiences? Um, I think the sort of thing that we don't think about every day as we go along doing our respective work, whatever it is, and you have those two hours to think about while you're in watching the movie, to think about things that we don't think about. We, think, uh, we don't go around thinking of miracles. We don't think of uh, the stars. What are the stars? Do we really know? Well, I guess they do, but it, they could mean other things to other people. Um, since the movie, I look, at, I look at clouds, and I look at the incredible formations of cloud, and when the sun sets, what happens to the clouds, how they change. I was really affected by the movie and looking at life through a different prism, really. That's lovely.